Ryan, who's pushing on a bit in years. He was a very late starter. He never laced on a pair of gloves until about five years ago. 31 years of age. I'm sure you've read all the stories about his life of crime, how he spent five Christmases in prison in his younger days, but now very much a professional boxer, and boxing has turned this man's life around. He stopped his last 14 opponents, Ryan, up against John Thaxton here from Norwich. He prefers John to Jonathan. 21 years of age, a former Southern Area light welterweight champion and former kickboxer. And he's really up for the job, I can tell you this, Thaxton. He fancies himself to cause a massive upset and goodness me, wouldn't he put himself on the map if he was to win this then? Yes, he would. Both southpaws here. Thaxton, it's a marvellous opportunity for him here, and he's quite a quick puncher, and we've seen the, the slobby defence of Paul Ryan from time to time, so it really it can be a, could be an interesting fight. Ryan does have a way of intimidating his opponents. He is a very stiff puncher indeed. Good ramrod right hand. Both of them southpaws. Great chance this for Thaxton. He comes in here as third choice opponent for Ryan, who is due to meet the Italian Antonio Strabello. Then the American Gene Reed, who checked into a London hotel and was never seen again. If you know where he is, tell Frank Warren urgently. And so John Thaxton got the job late last week. And this is a composed start from Ryan. Using the jab very well, and rocking the head back, just reddening the face of Thaxton. It's a hiding for nothing job, really, this for Ryan. There are world title plans for him. They hope he'll meet the WBO champion, Sammy Fuentes, in April. Negotiations quite well advanced, I hear, for that. So he certainly can't afford a slip up here. Having said that, Thaxton has caused the odd upset, notably when he had Colin Dunn on the floor in a southern area lightweight title fight. He's getting caught a lot here. Right, and he's got in a bad way Ryan he doesn't know what's happened to him in there there was no count it's over Thaxton's won inside a round but more seriously than that Ryan looked badly hurt and there's some concern about his condition what a sensation that was but let us hope before we talk about Thaxton's win that Ryan is okay because I did not like the look of him when he went down. The paramedics are in the ring at the moment. And he has just been, hope. Brian has been looking a couple of times there just to try and get him. I think the doctors are just keeping him on the floor to make sure he's all right. But again, he's trying to, to get up. It was a, a tremendous punch. We've often said that it could happen with Paul Ryan because he does carry his chin high and the defense is sloppy. And he paid the price there. Well, we've seen it before. With Ryan looking open. But that is an absolute nightmare for him. He still, I don't think, knows much about where he is. I think the doctors need to keep a very close eye on him for a little while yet. You'd like to see him kept under some observation. But what an amazing triumph this is for John Thaxton, the 21-year-old from Norwich, brought in at the last moment. And there it is, the jackpot payoff punch that lifts him into the big league. Yes, a big left hoof. Ryan was putting the pressure on, obviously felt confident, left his hands down, his chin up, and he paid the price. Beautiful left hoof, and he went down heavily, and that was a, it will be a disastrous night this for Paul Ryan. It really is. There was the punch that changes John Thaxton's life for the moment, and I'm afraid changes Paul Ryan's as well. No world title shot for him, I'm afraid. And Thaxton, who'd only won 10 and lost three in his career before this it's only his 14th fight has caused an absolute sensation here former kickboxer brought up through the norwich lads amateur boxing club 
Norfolk ABA title, but uh, very modest look at Ryan. Now he's woken up. Now he realizes what's happened. Late substitute opponent. And his world falls apart. And all this just months after the biggest win of his career against Ross Hale. What a strange business this can be. Roy Francis, I think, did obviously the right thing there because Ryan was never, ever going to get up. There was no count. He stopped the fight immediately so that the paramedics could get in there. Jonathan Baxter!